offer a special catch match bonus boat here this afternoon. Uh, it's Ian McGregor of Ashton on the line on the left there, 12 stone 6 versus Richie Brooks of Bath at 11 stone. So here we go for a six five minute round contest, two falls to decide, and of course we join the match before any decisive action. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a catchweight contest, six five minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or one knockout will decide the winner. In the red corner to my right from Ashton Underline, put your hands together and welcome Ian McGregor. And his opponent from Bath in the West Country, the Golden Apollon, Richie Brooks. And your referee for this contest is Mr. Roy Harding. So when we've got Richie Brooks dressed for the, the bout, <laughs> well, officially undressed, there he is. Well, he's wearing tights here this afternoon. I never see him do that. Anyway, there he is, new to hairstyle and new tights. Richie Brooks, Golden Apollon, from Bath, and his opponent, the taller Ian McGregor, Ashton on the line. And here we go for round one, six fives. Second straight of the ring for round one. Two folds to decide this contest, and the referee in this bout will see in a minute for the bearded Roy Harding. There he is, Roy Harding from Croydon. Oh, Ian McGregor trying a quick pinfall right for the first bell. It almost worked. Brooks in the light blue tights versus McGregor. Brooks, remember, is the boy that uh, uh, Steve. Um, Gray, a heck of a lot of trouble. The British lightweight champion, recently on television. But of course, he's taking on somebody a stone and a half, nearly heavier than he is. 11 stone, Brooks. 12 stone, six, McGregor. And Brooks giving away a lot of height, too. Which we'll notice when they face each other on foot in a minute. the ropes to the bothers here. McGregor races in trying to get a step over. Put the leg loosely in the air. It's not very much good. Left his man too free. Brooks now on an attack. Side head chance read. Throw there by McGregor. 
both these fellows have improved so much since we first saw them a year or two ago. Four rounds, both, both men reaching the target. Very nicely taken with a double arm there, Brooks underneath, and his further shoulder press, a two, a three, and it's Brooks the first fall. Just over three minutes into round one, and Brooks the first fall. Let's have a look how he did this. There's the butt to the stomach. Brooks takes. Not too worried by it. Dives underneath the feet nicely. Does a double twist to get into the back position with a double arm. Beautifully done. Further shoulder press and McGregor in trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, in the opening round, the first fall of the contest to Richie Brooks. Brooks happy now, Ian McGregor looking a little worried, a little pensive now, but he's got five five-minute rounds to go yet. Plenty of time for it. Seconds clear the ring for round two. Richie Brooks. The light blue tights. Stars all over the front. On the right there. Leading by one fall to nil. At the start of the second round. This is a nicely out by Brooke. Oh, he's, he's so agile, this fella. He seems to get stronger and quicker every time I see him. Folding press, and McGregor, can he hold that? No. <laughs> Brooks can dart out of that in no time at all. Full Nelson now is trying. Doesn't work. Chancery. Murphy, the goes for the double arm nicely over the top, further shoulder press again by McGregor, and possible. Two counts of two. Three counts of two, but no count of three, which matters. Half Nelson there, McGregor's got on still. Back elbow, he walks straight into it. Flying tackle, Brooks, he can get a 2-0 win if he holds this, but he can't hold it. That's what he was after in the second round, a 2-0 win. As early as that, over the fellow, a stone and a half heavier than he is. It didn't work, but it wasn't a bad effort. Toe and ankle, a lovely spin out there as the toe and ankle never arrived. Sports all round, who trains for the weights and bodybuilding just like his opponent. Turned pro 1984. And Marty Jones is the man that started this man in the professional way. Ian McGregor. And at least in a bout like this, Roy Hardy, the referee, had very little to do at all. So it's a pinfall count. A single warning of any kind in this one. Reaching for the opposite arm. I'm not sure that Roy Harding liked that too much. Yes, it's allowed. Still, Ian McGregor still arguing with him that that was legal. Thought he was going for a posting. Goes for a shoulder wrench instead. Started it, but it's Brooks' right hand that's got it. Now both hands. Ah, that's a nice switch by McGregor. Less than two minutes to go around two. Still that single figure interlock again. This time started by Brooks on the right hand, full Nelson McGregor and counter. Oh, nicely. And a possible submission here, and if he gets the submission, it's the equalizer here. No, 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 no. 
So he'll lift with all his might, get rid of this man. Double arm stretch. And oh, beauty there by Brooks. Almost a 2 0 win again. Oh, these two fellows have developed so much since we first saw them on television. Folding press, but I'm sure the Brooks can get out of that. Yeah, no problem. One minute to go, round two. Posting all the way through. Slam, but, uh, he doesn't follow it for some reason. He wants a few more weakness first before he tries the cross press follow up. And a full Boston crowd is on for Brooks here. If he can turn his neck. 30 seconds he's got. There's the Boston. Single leg Boston now. Still Brooks in charge, but the Gregor won't give. And he's crawled through the legs, which is all he needs to get out of it. 15 seconds. Nice work, McGregor. Counted that beautifully. Now he doesn't have to worry too much. He's going to grub it on Brooks now, but he won't do him any good because he's only got three seconds to go, and it's too late. Unlucky for McGregor, then. And Ian McGregor looks up at the referee, really angry there, but it's kind of the referee's fault. The timekeeper is the one that drew the bell exactly right, as he should do. But very disappointed, of course, because he really had Brooks then in trouble. And with another five seconds, he could have easily had the equalizing fall that he's been after. This is rock-hard oven grime. To get this off, you have to use a serious cleaner. And they can come with choking fumes. But new Sif oven cleaner spray is fume-free. Sif hates dirt, loves surfaces. This week, the only thing waiting for Peter when he gets home from school will be anger, abuse, and violence. This week, Rex will have to find his own dinner again. This week, Zoe will end up in hospital with broken ribs. Her parents will say she fell down the stairs. This week, over 32,000 children are in danger of being beaten, abused, even killed in their own homes. Shall we stop it now? Please call 0800 80 20 20 to give two pounds a month to the NSPCC. Please, help us make it stop. Full stop. When is a good deal not a good deal on car insurance? When I'm not rewarded for my careful driving, just because I've been on Mum's policy. At Direct Line, all name drivers can build up a personal no-claims discount to use when they need a policy of their own. And as well as great prices, when you insure more than one car at your address, we'll give you an extra 10% discount. That's better. Visit directline.com or call 0845 246 0016. Direct Line. A good deal better. How will you make your mark? It takes hundreds of skilled people to create landscapes that capture the imagination. From project managers to plasterers, everyone makes their mark, changing the way we see the world. 
with so many ways into the construction industry, from apprenticeships to degree courses. Imagine what you could do. Go on, make your mark. Visit beconstructive.co.uk. If you've been refused credit elsewhere, nobody tries harder than Welcome Car Finance to get you a newer car. Every year we approve thousands of people for car credit. Many of our top name cars are under two years old and all come with an independent quality and safety check and full MOT. Call Welcome Car Finance now and we'll give you at least a thousand pounds for your old car plus £250 cash back. Call Welcome Car Finance now on 0800 040 9000 or visit our website. Please pledge just £2 a month to the NSPCC by calling 0800 80 20 20 now. Ian McGregor with four rounds to go. Let's see what happens in round three. Second clearing, round three. Now, can McGregor get that same position going on Brooks? Because it really had Brooks worried. Remember, Brooks is leading still, one fold and L. Side headlock. So it must be a vicious side headlock. So he's putting on a lot of pressure there. Drop kick and it's McGregor down from that drop kick. Landed it well, especially with the right foot. But he'll get up in time. And Brooks sees his chance of a 2 0 win again here. Crutch hold, slam. Still doesn't follow it. He's got Brooks, he's got uh, McGregor really worried now. I don't know why he didn't follow that up. Still more weakness. More great stuff by Brooks here. And McGregor for coming up for more. And the knee drop. Yes, right in the small of the back, right under the knee. Oh, beautifully done by McGregor, though, heading that head century. A nice possibility there for him, but no, he can't. He can't keep the shoulder blades down. Unlucky. Cut the head scissors nicely. I don't think he can keep the shoulder blades down. Not of a sleeper there. No. I think they'll just have to break and call that a stalemate. And Ian Brooks has really been, uh, Ian McGregor has really been a little unlucky here. It's Brooks, he really has. He's twice as got him in trouble. At the end of the bout. Hey! Nicely folding press and a butt the double, Big Nelson, and this time he's got him. Just over two minutes and the round three, McGregor the equalizing fall of a double leg Nelson, Paul Sharma. Ladies and gentlemen, in round three, the equalizing fall to young Ian McGregor. So, halfway through the bout then, and one for each is the score, as we start in round four. Second clear the ring for round four. So, there's round four, three to go, one for each. It's a folding press backwards, and Brooks will hold that surely. No, only a count of two. Side headlock. Head scissors in the air, and it's possible for the Gregory. 
No, title two again. Oh, this is so close, it could go either way. Double arm now, Brooks. Over the top, further shoulder cross, and McGregor in trouble. Surely this is it, this is it. Brooks makes it in round four by two falls to one. And just one minute, eight seconds of the fourth round. What a great bout. Ladies and gentlemen, by two fours to one, the winner in round four, Richie Brooks. So with that two fours to one win by Brooks in round four, what a great contest he was, I think you'll agree. It's goodbye from all of us here at Hemel Hempstead. Hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good week. Till next week.